What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you guys are new viewers to the channel, my name is Jonathan and today we'll be working on the Civic. In today's video, we'll be taking off the old wheels from the Civic and installing a new to me pair of wheels. I decided to take off the wheels just because they were never really mine. They were put on when the Civic was stolen. If you guys don't know about that story, go ahead and watch the video. I'll have the link down below. It's a pretty good video. And well, I basically just wanted to get a new pair of wheels just to up with the car as well. So I decided to hop on off-road just because I'm working on the Civic in a very budget-friendly way um, to help to inspire you guys and also see how far I could get with this budget build. And well, I went on off-road and I found these wheels. They are a size 16 and the seller was asking for 300. I looked at his post description and he was saying he was looking to trade for a size 15. I thought it was perfect. I was looking for a size 16. Pretty much should have foreshadowed how much of a problem I would have with the fitment. But nonetheless, I thought it was a good deal. We did the trade and I got the wheels. In the picture, they were originally black. So it caught my attention just because I wanted black wheels. And well, I got them and they were white. He decided to paint them white, even more of a problem that I would have to deal with in today's video. In order to get the paint off, I bought some paint remover from Walmart and pretty much just lathered it all on the wheel and it does the work for you. It, you put it on it and it just kind of starts like ripping apart and then you just either wipe it off or power wash it. I decided to power wash it just because it made the job a lot easier. I took off the majority of the paint of the front two wheels. I finished uh, removing the paint in another video probably. I don't know. It's so difficult not being able to, you know, wash the wheels at where you live just because of your neighbors. So yeah, just want to be neighbor friendly. But that's pretty much all I got of an intro for you guys. I hope you guys can enjoy this video and I'll see you guys at the end. That honestly might be the perfect spot for it. Who knows, maybe three inches might be perfect. Perfect. Little spider. Hey, bud. Where'd it go? It's always scary when you don't know where they're at. start guys haven't turned this car on in about a couple days yo you gotta be kidding me it's not starting guys i'm gonna have to roll start this i'm not too good at jump starting cars guys but i've done it a couple times so let's see if we could just roll start this cool down a bit or warm up a bit and then we'll go on our first drive thank you i'll be right back it's a new one that i got i actually got this shift knob on accident on amazon i wanted to get a cool shifter you know like a, like this type of style i didn't pay attention to the description i guess probably because it was in centimeters always pay attention to the, uh, the description obviously i got the amazon special a freaking extra large shift knob freaking dildo of a shift knob and well i mean it's cool now like i don't care like i, I actually rock it just because i can't take off the gum off the car anymore pretty much a mugen style shift knob freaking extra enlarged this comes out really nicely it's super heavy too like for its size i mean obviously it's like hella big but for its size it's honestly pretty heavy and it just says mugen there obviously it's not like a real mugen part just like an Amazon special. It's actually, it feels kind of cool. It feels like a freaking Hydro. Other than that, I, it's the one I'm using on the Civic. Always pay attention to the Amazon descriptions, guys. <laughs> oh. Got it, guys. Now we're ready to go. Joseph was not cooperating. Perfect, all right? I guess Boomer's going with us, guys. After a little bit of driving, we are getting tons of rubbing on the bumps. This road is super bumpy, so I want you guys to hear all the freaking scrapes. 
We're in this together, guys. All right, this one right here, this one right here. Oof. And then one more, one more. Watch, watch, watch. Oof. <laughs> one wants to be in the camera, guys. I'm so happy with it, though. If the freaking wheels popped, I wouldn't even be mad right now. Like, I'm so excited right now. And I got Boomer on the first freaking drive, man. I'm hyped. And the carbon fiber is looking hella nice. Look at that. That thing looks so good. If you haven't seen that carbon fiber video, go check it out. Link down below. I'm hyped. As long as we get that wheel filming right, dude, this, the Civic's going to be a daily, man. Pop huh, Boomer. There is a lady right now complimenting Boomer. <laughs> He's a hit. Boys and girls, we got our first problem. We got to check engine light on. What's up, guys? Today we are going to try to finish the hatch. We're going to be trying to roll the fenders, but not really roll them. We're going to be banging them to where we can get them pushed up so that we could have the perfect wheel filament that we are looking for. The rears is where we have majority of the work. So that's probably where we're gonna start. As you guys can see, the fenders, they're even pushed downward. So my job today is to heat this up with the heat gun and basically just hit these fenders upward to where it kind of bends upward. with this process is that it takes a while like it really does and especially if you're using one of these rubber mallets like it takes forever because it's really squishy it doesn't doesn't really like bang Jeez, bedroom. Shit. on the material as, as hard as it should Junior, get, out. get out get out what are you doing loser so I don't want to lie to you guys. I ended up using this. Before I showed you guys it, I do not recommend it at all. We used one of these, pretty much just bang it in. That worked really fast, like super fast. And honestly, it did not chip as much paint as I thought it would. But honestly, I don't care about this paint. I really want to switch the paint up. So I don't mind messing it up just a little bit, which the paint is pretty much all messed up right you guys are doing this and you guys are using a rubber mallet look into probably using a hammer or something hard but put a rag over it or like the fender so when you're hitting it it kind of has a little cushion came into a little problem never underestimate the power of a rock let me show you guys look at that y'all see my problem the freaking car rolled back a little bit because I'm in a downhill and it freaking got all stuck with the jack and the jack stand. One more and I was done. And it's so hot, so now I have to wait here. Good thing I'm at my grandma's house, so I'm waiting for my grandpa to get over here so he can bring me another jack. <laughs> grandma got here and she basically saved the day. So this little emergency jack stand basically ended up doing the job for us this is the last fender that we have to roll guys that i have finished the roll uh, it's thinner now from this angle back here this wheel seems to be riding pretty high in comparison to the front oh it looks so good that front fitment looks perfect the rear is okay pretty much all we needed to do today was roll the fender i did that and now all that I gotta do is pretty much give the Civic a nice wash, wash the remaining paint off the wheels. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. Give it a little rip ski, guys. Ooh, no scraping so far. <laughs> yeah. All right, never mind. We got so. 
some scraping in the fronts, which the fronts are the one side that is a bit lower. So most likely we'll have to just raise up the fronts to have perfect fitment, guys. Still the left side scrapes a lot though. But again, so much better than what it was before. Alrighty guys, we are about to go on this road that had the most bumps. Oof. Try number two. Oh my gosh, no scrape. Perfect, dude. Hardly any scrape. The hatch is now somewhat drivable. Alright guys, so pretty much huge success on what we did today, rolling the fenders. Now we just gotta finish fixing up the front suspension, get it to the perfect height to where it doesn't scrape anymore. Oh, I'm so excited guys. Y'all have no idea how happy I am. I hope you guys are excited because that means we can drive the hatch now and we could move on to some other mods. Alrighty guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. I'm sorry, you know, if I didn't really finish the taking off the paint, making it look as good as possible, I'll work on that and I'll show you guys in the next video. Probably not really show you guys it just because you guys already seen the process. Just probably like little clips of the finished product, I guess. But that's pretty much all I got for today. I don't want to make the video too long and I hope you guys can enjoy the video and so far uh, what we did. The Civic is actually coming along. I just really got to put in the work to try to fix it as fast as possible so that uh, when I do fix it where I live, I don't really get in trouble with my neighbors as much. But pretty much that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys were able to enjoy this video. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, turn post notifications on, all that good stuff. It really does help me out, guys. And well, I'll pretty much see you guys next time. Achieve everything. God bless you guys. Peace.